Welcome to the weekend, motherfuckers. We are back in the creek. Say good day, Uncle Trent. Oh, good day, ladies and gentlemen. All right. On today's adventure, we're doing a bit of a, a crab bait shoot off <clears throat> with um, four of the best crab baits ever in the world. So we've come down to the local mud ramp. We got a little treat for you guys, so stay tuned and we'll run through the bait soon. Second pull and the old bitch started. We're off to a good, good start now. Look at her, she's just loving life. The old pig. We're gonna bait these pots and then we'll um we'll fill you in on the little secret what what we're fucking mixing it up with so um we'll find a good spot to do that and we'll get into it. Six and a half hours later. Oh. Thank you, sir. Up your kill. So just a little update. <laughs> no, we got fancy with the GPS, but have a look at this. Now we got a depth sounder. We haven't actually seen if it works yet. We did have beers, but we put it in. And look at this, all um, switches and shit. Cabin light. Yeah. <laughs> the cabin is lit, bitches. All right, so the plan is, guys, to do a bit of a bait um, shoot-off. We're going to compare crab baits because everyone's telling us our bait's shit and that's why we're fucking terrible at crabbing, which we won't deny. But So we got eight pots. Eight pots, yeah. Yeah, four each. Four each, that's legal. We're law-abiding citizens, as you know. So we got two with just mullet only. We got two with just chicken only we got two with kangaroo sorry about that skip but it's for the greater cause and we've got two of the um professional australian mix so we did a video on that so you know what's in that one if not we'll put the link to it up in the corner one of these corners you'll see the little thing pop up up there somewhere Whole or half? Oh, I reckon half. Let the juices flow? Yeah, get the guts out. Everyone loves a bit of mullet guts. Mmm. Get that into ya. Alright guys, so we'll bait these up and we'll smash them in and, yep, you'll see what happens when we get them out of the water. Time for some chicken! Oh, yeah. Oh, it's skippy time! That's some good quality Australian kangaroo. Mmm, yummy. Let's see how this one goes. Got high hopes. All right, last two pots, guys, and we've saved the best till last. Today we're going to stuff with sausages instead of burly mix. Yep, I know everyone's excited to see that. It's not the first sausage Trent's put in a chicken, let me tell you. So that's the gist of it, but we still do need to, because um, we didn't have time to freeze these overnight. So we mixed it up. We didn't go tuna all this time. We went pilchard. Oh, that looks tasty. Oh, yeah, get in there, baby. Mm. Helps if you got the camera pointed at it. I'll put half on this one, half on the other one. I can't tell you how superb this feels. <laughs> And smells. Oh. The captain's not supposed to shout, just so you know, like deck rules, but I'll even I'll do, open your beer if you like. I'll do the righty. But just so the ladies and gentlemen know, you've got to bless it. For our fallen crabs, which we probably just washed all the fucking oil off. Well done. <laughs> Bit more food, good luck. This is the last spot, the last pot. 
So we we're just saying we might, for another mission, come in here, pull the boat up, go for a bit of a walk through here, see what we can find. But these little gutters here are just pure fucking gold. But anyway, Where this are we is this one, Captain. Uh, we're going the last of the boat, so chicken frame, a yeah, bit of skippy. On the dirty old snag. Yep, get in there. Now, why wouldn't you want to eat that? All right, you got to do it with your little finger, don't you? Oh, I get to make a wish. You one fucking asshole. What would you wish for quiet time with the chicken? I actually wish for quiet time for crap. <laughs> Usually when we do this, we freeze them the night before. Make a block. So, yeah, it gets, gets in there. Oh, yeah. It's holding in there. Yeah, it's doing all right. A bit on your finger. Oh, you got to have a bit on your finger. Yeah, you got to do that. Because he's bleeding. Somewhere so you got a bit of Uncle yeah, Tramp blood, blood in there. Bit of blood. Bit of blood. Yeah, yeah. Bit of blood. Yeah, rub that on the chook. All right, so that's the lucky last pot. I've got high hopes for this one, actually. So that's why we tagged them all, so we can remember which one's which. This poor Uncle Trent's got to go back to work, guys. So he's not going to be here when I rescue these crabs from this fucking terrible place they live. Terrible, terrible. We're going to rehome them in a nice stainless steel pot full of boiled water, so... With beer. With beer, fuck yeah. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Hee hee! Welcome back! Alright, we got some pots to check, guys. Solo mission today. I'm in by myself, so be too much mucking around so we'll just go and get into it in true professional Australian tradition I suppose we could call it for fuck ups we um so we wired this new sound of plotter in right works really well um, mark the spots on the GPS where we put the pots because we didn't put floats on them this time so no one would steal them when the uh, battery got isolated wiped all the marks so seeing as I'm here by myself this is gonna be a bit of a mission to find them all so we're going off memory so wish me luck uh, we just pulled two pots there's been like six crabs in there but none of them are legal um, just gonna dump them on the bank just to give you an idea they're all sort of just under so So we'll just get them out of the boat, make it easier to manoeuvre around and we'll get them out later. Fucking cod. That one's probably legal. All these crabs are just under. Alright, 34. Very lucky, buddy. Oh. oh, yeah, that looks promising. Hello, big boy. Let's have a squeeze. What did we catch you on, mate? Chicken only. Not a bad looking crab. Well, we're supposed to go off the outside Morris Point, and he's got it missing, so even if we went off that one, he's legal. There you go. We got something to cook. Yes! He's not the fullest, so... If I get enough to let him go, I will. Some people use string or use electrical tape. Tomato, tomato. So 
So bait wise chicken Just normal chicken seems to be the winner so far But We still got a few to go Couple of frozen water bottles, sit him in there. That way, if we do end up uh, getting better crabs, full of crabs, we can let him go and he's not, you know, we're not killing him unnecessarily. <sighs> oh, yes. Hello. Hello, Mr. Rusty Buck. You're coming home with me, son. shit we got us a fucking monster yee alright so we're back at the mud ramp as you can see just kept them all in there so we can do this the right way um, got myself a cold beverage sun's about going down over there just after 5 on the weekend so cheers to the weekend and um, we got one contender that's already in the in the tank. Before I remembered, we're doing a bait comparison here, so best keep them all in the pot so we can see what the what the winner was. Um, I'm gonna have to revert back to the footage to remember what bait we used when we caught the first one. But um, there's definitely two keepers, and there's a lot that are close, but. I reckon only two are going to be coming home. So as you can see, three muddies in this one, all too small. There's no bait left. And this was kangaroo. Sorry, Skippy. Next. This one. Two little crabs. Mullet. Bit surprised. A lot of the bait is gone, but only two crabs. These are my good pots, so it's not like they can get out, guys. So... Next, chicken only, two little babies, very disappointing, I had more higher hopes for you chicken, look there's the wishbone, do you do this where you're from, you want a mate, grab with your little finger, pull, oh, right hand wins. What are you going to wish for? Can't say that on air. Next. This one is professional Australian bait. One crab and one shitty cod. Let's get the cod out. Oh, fuck, he just fell out. You just flick mud in my fucking mouth, you asshole. Fuck off. Yes. He's close to legal, but he'd be about a centimetre under. Fuck, the mozzies and midges are fierce. Next. Absolutely fucking nothing. What is this? Mullet. Find that hard to believe as the bait has been chewed. Someone probably checked that one. Next. Oh. Chicken only. We've got a sand crab, which is a buck, and two little bucks, and another cod. Get out of there, fuckers. There you go. So the sandy, I probably should have measured the sandy. Oh, fuck, he nearly got me too. So just so you know, Sand crabs are a little bit different to mud crabs, not just in appearance, but in legal size as well. So, the smaller ones, there to there, that one's actually legal. So, there you go. But, fuck, he's very angry. Uh, there is a lot sweeter meat. But there's fuck all meat to them, as you can see. So I'm not going to waste my time. I don't want to let him near my feet when I'm going to have to load this boat up. So off you fuck. Oh, you wanker. You run straight under the boat. All right. 
So there might be a blooper video on this one too, guys. Oh, you fucker. Every time you touch something, you think it's a fucking crab now. All right, last pot. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, you, buddy. Professional Australian. Woohoo! Look at that. I really just want to get that cod out. All right, buddy, see ya. That is a stonker. That is definitely legal. All the rest are too small, but there you go, guys. This is the clear winner. So the professional Australian mix, we did a video on that. So, hey, stop that, stop. Get out of it, big fella. Look at that. Big rusty bark mud crab. Missing his swimmers. Been blowing. Makes them very hard to hold on to. So, have a geese. What a beauty. Starting to get the Maltese cross. That's how you know they're full, guys. And you squeeze in there. And if you can't move it a millimetre, you know here's just chockers full of meat ready to go. So that is a good crab. Don't even need to measure that. I know he's well over, but I'll do it just for the camera's sake. Oh. There you go. Well and truly legal, guys. So that is a good crab. All right, well, there you go. We did a little bait comparison, showed you what works and what sort of works. They all sort of work, but I think the uh, professional Aussie mix wins the day. Look at that. Chicken of the sea. Another big tip, guys, when you're cooking mud crabs, use salt water. Don't use fresh water and put salt in it. That's very fucking stupid tastes like shit you dead set ruin the whole um the whole taste of the crab just untie the trusty steed and get her on the trailer try not to step on released mud crabs another good tip too guys if you buy yourself in croc infested waters in north queensland it's to stand in the middle of the trailer um makes it harder for the crocs to get you if you're playing or loading or unloading a boat always turn the boat sideways and leave the boat between yourself and the water yeah all right crabbies there you go go home go that way get there you go go on jenny go on get see you mate nice to meet ya catch you later eh literally enjoyed the the great crab bait shootout sort of video it's only the the you know most local creek to me so it's not the best creek in the world but we'll get more adventurous as time goes on but that'll give you an idea of what baits work and what don't so anyway if you liked it give it a thumbs up if i haven't got one out of you already hit but that subscribe button and i'll catch you later eh? see ya